biggest technical challenge for augmented reality is the real-time fine-grained tracking and computer vision that's necessary. What we do with our brains is incredibly powerful as we perceive the environment and we differentiate objects in the environment, objects of interest. And we, within our minds, can track them and stay aligned with them. For computers, that's much more challenging. They don't have brains. They only see little dots on a screen, and they have to equate those dots into meaningful things. That's a really big computational challenge. The computer vision algorithms that are necessary for us to understand scenes and to be able to track objects precisely on reality are very computationally intensive. And today, unless we have powerful semiconductors, they're very difficult to uh, create in mobile devices at very low uh, power utilization levels. Augmented reality is a different story. Augmented reality relies on computer graphics and being able to extract information from images. It relies on machine learning, machine vision. So all of these technologies continue to improve, but they're not quite there yet uh, in, at the point that they can be used effectively in embedded devices. Augmented reality poses very serious network challenges. Basically, two. One, bandwidth. There's a the tremendous amount of bandwidth needed in order to be able to capture reality and then superimpose virtual objects on top of that, vir of, of that reality that we see. That's number one. Number two, latency. When you start to superimpose graphically generated uh, components on reality, for instance, uh, I'm wearing a shirt and I have a logo of a company on and, and, and my shirt, and we are able to track that precisely. That tracking means that I need to analyze the image, perhaps over the network, find a, 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 a computationally extensive process and then relay it back to the display. That's latency. That latency has to be in the order of milliseconds. Today, we are not approaching that and it's a, one of our biggest challenges in the network. Solving some of the computer vision problems that AR faces today could be tackled by cloud-based uh, computational resources. And, to, and in, in order to capture that, though, we've got to have high-speed networks with very, very low latency, as close to zero as possible, certainly less than 100 milliseconds latencies. We have a fair amount of work to do technology-wise to improve our algorithms and to improve our tracking and to improve our devices to provide that cognitive enhancement to applications that will enhance reality in the real world.